just go out to all my sisters, unappreciated or not, cause I just wanna let you know you got it going on, sister. Hully, go call your beacon cause your skin tone sandy Intoxicating lips reminding alcoholic of brown brandy Of the gallon in your love, many men dream of wallowing A look at you and most brothers got a hard time swallowing No need for blushing, I told them kids hushing Tone it down a bit, senorita was about to say something A stealth bomber could have a hard time following your curves In a minute's the way you the words So what I do to you, performing tricks like you do Oh, it's time to get down on the Yami Journey family. I pour you Miss Jones because I got it going on for you. You got it going on. You got it going on. Put your hand books out. You got it going on. 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 Represented your smiles a full moon on dark skin that becomes accented. I look at you and see stars from being days. Brothers ask to hit the brown sugar, cause my eyes are so glazed. I sit back for a minute, what, laugh what, and chuckle. What, what, cause thoughts of you gripping me like a palm has got me harder than a knuckle. Your love's full blown, overshadowing like an eclipse. Your tongue is mother's milk between ebony lips. Watch, Watch them hips. hips. I wipe my brow because wet starts to dripping on your air of dairy sugar. I can hardly get a grip. Now I call you Miss Jones because I got a Jones and my loyons for you, sister. You got it going on. To my sweet peak and freak and you got it going on. To my cold melt thunder, you got it going on. To my chocolate wonder, you got it going on. Yo, you got it going on. Yo, you got it going on. You're all I need. Yo, you got it going on. Yo, you got it going on. Your loving is crazy. Oh, yeah. You drain the most active men to be in couch potato so, uh, lazy. Hey, His wearing in the breeze like the olive tree. Yeah. Your lips represents the strength on the power to the tip. We get together and go on to, to the break of dawn. Ginseng and bananas enhance the way that, that I perform. The warm whispers in my ear, yeah. calm the savage yeah. storm. And every time you make me love, it's like you're being reborn. You blow up the spot, making hotter than the Bahamas in hell. When you address yourself like the rebel ex man. She give me what right. I need, I mean She my private free kick, my own personal skin Don't get me wrong, well, she's all woman Listen, and no I ain't playing here We gon' give Telegram a little bit Give Telegram a little, a little me sample Man ways than fruit combinations of Skittles Man yeah, stomach behind the thighs got me hung like men in cloth Sometimes I smack on the chest You know they can't hear it They can't hear the music I quarter, Cause she's always got my back Y'all need to come season, on over Click that link Because I got a Jones in my On the path, on the podcast for you, you sister, I got it going on. You got it going on. Uh huh. You got it going on. Let's get you everything got right. You got it going on. Shouts out to Brother Riz. You, you got what Storm 9000. Man. You got it going on. You got it going on. You got it going on. Got it going on. You got it going on. Shots out. Here we go. What? Huh? Who? Drink your water. Come on, come on, drink your water, but first, take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Take, take your it. breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Drink, 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 drink. drink or should I say, breathe, breathe, then drink. Take a breath. Take a Grab your glass, lift your pitcher, 
picture of the water. Come on. Come on. Picture of that water. We going live. Simply pour some water. Drink, 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 drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it, drink. Drink Or should I say, live, pour. Then I done got so caught up, I done forgot to pour the water. Now move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water. Bam. Just move your body. Drink. Drink, drink, drink. Drink your or should water. I say, move, move, move your body. Move your body. Move your body. Now, now raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Now, raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Now, raise your glass and toast your ancestors, fam. Just raise your glass. Gotta scoot over some more. Take your breath and drink some water. Do your nose your down breath. to your belly. Lift and pour Take that breath. some water. Pour Move. some water. Get some water. Move your body. Drink some water. Move. 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 Raise Move. your glass and toast Move. your ancestors. Breathe. Lift. Move. Toast. But remember to stay healthy. Remember the four pillars. Breathe. Drink. Eat. Move. Take your breath. Lift and pull. Lift and pull. Move your body. Move it. Move it. Toast your ancestors. Drink up. Come on, toast. Come on, drink it. Drink it. Drink it up. Come on, drink it. Come on, drink it. Drink that health in. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Take, take your breath. Take your breath. Take your breath. Lift and pull. Lift, lift it. Move your body. Come on. Come on. Toast your ancestors. Toast. Drink. 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 Drink your water. Drink. 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 That's taking the taste of like sink water. Drink the water. Trying to kill me. Take, Take your, your breath. breath. Then it tastes like sink water. Pour. Come on, pour it. All right, so family, 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 your family, family. Come on. Toast, Toast your, your ancestors. ancestors. Come on now, drink, 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 drink. 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 What? Drink, 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 drink your water. water. Drink. Drink your water. Oh, man, it is so good to be standing in the congregation of the mighty, the home of the stubborn minority, the place where your hustle builds muscle. This is Giame Journey Media. I am your host, Brother High Tim, and what's your name, lady? Miss Gigi. Miss Gigi, and of course, you know this is a Heart of a Simba production. All day, every day. Oh, man. Of course, we want to give all of those Kaumba babies, although it's late in the day, we want to give you a round of applause. Come on, give it up for them. Come on. Clap it up. Clap it up. They deserve it. They deserve it. Come on now. Yeah, shouts out to those Kaumba babies. Yes, yes, y'all. And you don't stop. Of course you know. We strive, strive, strive! To pop your own paradigm! Alright. Don't want that much. There we go. Alright, so now, family, we are here. We are gathered. We have come. I know it's been a long time coming, right? But I woke up and my kids told me, ain't no Wi Fi. The hell? What? I paid the bill. Check my credit statement. I paid the bill. You mean what? You mean ain't no Wi-Fi? The world ended. 
Somebody, somebody owe me some. Somebody owe me something. I pay for some services, and them services ain't here. I'm upset. So I said, okay. All right, cool. I got to do something else. So I went and did some running around. Did some running around with the family. Had an all right time. Had all right. I was all right. You know what I'm saying? But I could have been here writing, getting ready for my show and all that. But, you know, it's good to have family time. So we want to give, give it up for family time, family. We ain't talking about tribe if you ain't got your family right, you know. And, you know, and like I said, like all families, we got our struggles and stuff like that, you know. People farting and stuff like that, you know. I, you know, I personally don't fart. I don't know where any of my where that come from in the DNA with this in any of my kids, but some of them just fart a lot. I, but I ain't saying no names. I ain't, I ain't no snitch. But you know. Uh, anyway, um, we are here and we are gathered here on this Kumba. And the rant of the day, the rant of the day that we're going to be talking about uh, is called the five steps. I got five steps for you. Five steps to keeping it real and firing up your Kumba. Jenny got to fire up the Kumba. A lot of people are not serious about that kumba they're not taking it serious and he we hear he we hear Jeremy journey feel that it's blasphemy blasphemy for us not to take any of our principles all of our principles got to be serious some of them we have a close relationship like me and g we got a close relationship with kuji chaga leah but all of these principles move in our lives and we got to recognize the power that they have. And for us to neglect those powers is for us to turn our back on our culture. It's for us to turn our back on our families. It's for us to turn our back on our tribes and just give up and become slaves. And that's unacceptable for a Giami man or a Giami woman or even a Giami baby. You understand? We got to go on and we have to we have to use the principles. And the principle that we need to talk about today is firing up is that kaumba. I want to work on firing up that kaumba. All right, so can we do it? I hope so. All right, so now first off, before we get into that, I ain't gonna hold y'all too long because I'm I, I'm I'm already late. But we gonna have us a good rant today, and also I want to make sure that everything is right. So. We are going to do anime, baby. Could you please? It's the proper time. Proper time. Proper time. Proper time. Proper time. Proper of the day. Proper of the day. The proper of the day states. Of course, you know I'm coming straight out of the Saba Challenge Self Mastery Journal. I already wrote it down. When a great man comes, they don't come alone. When a great man comes, they don't come alone. Powerful proverb. Tell us, what does it mean to you? It's the proverb. proverb. Man. Proverb. Proverb. But you know what? I was proverb. premature. Proverb. I was premature because we before we got into that, that's a writing prompt, right? So go on. I'm going to say it for you one more time. When a great man comes... When a great man come, they don't come alone, right? That's that's that tribe mentality that I keep on trying to talk to y'all about. A lot of y'all want to live out here in this world. Y'all want to be prey. Dog, listen, stop. Stop. Get with your tribe. So y'all go out hunting together. Stop being prey. Start being the predator. You know what I'm saying? And being a predator does not mean that you have to take advantage of the weak. It don't mean that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway... What we're going to do now, we're going to go to a little bit of the news. We're going to go to some of the news. Um, I'm going to let Gina get some practice on some of the stuff on what she need to read today. This is the one you're you going to read today. You see it? Okay. Yeah. So you can practice that a little bit. Um, so we're going to go and we're going to do some news while Miss Gigi get ready. All right. So, of course... Um, I went up to the new Sarah guy. Well, what are you at the Sarah guy for, Mr. Brown, Brother Tim? 
What you out there for? I went to Sarah Guy because, you know, I, I'm doing my miso soup in the morning. So I went to go get me some more miso soup because you use it up quick. Boom. So I'm getting the miso soup. And also I want to get some mushrooms because, like I said, I got like a lot of mushroom supplements. But I want to start because you got, we got the oyster mushrooms up there. We got the black ear um, mushrooms up there. They got the, uh, I mean, they got a whole bunch of different mushrooms at Sarah Guy that I want to start experimenting with far as adding to my diet. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm really starting to see that these mushrooms are, see, because they, they're not vegetables, but they're not animals. So mushrooms are something special. Mushrooms are something powerful. But anyway, I was up there and I ran into my yard, the authentic Jamaican and African cuisine. Um, they were, they're just, they just opened a week ago. They are up on the Sarah guy on, um, Hamilton Road, right across from the old Eastland family going up there and, you know, let them know that you heard about them up there on, um, Gianni journey, check them out. You know, real nice people that came out and they was talking to me. I said, let me go on, post this up. Um, it's called my yard. You know what I'm saying? Had some pretty good things on there. I would have got something, but I had just ordered pizza. I just was going in there to get some, but um, to get some um miso soup and look at the mushrooms and buy some mushrooms. Um, Sasha needed some um, Sasha needed some something else. She needed to go to the bathroom, so I took her to the bathroom, and it's it was it was over there. So um, go and check them out. Also, they got dry mushrooms up there. I'm gonna have to go on and check that out. But anyway, I just thought about that. Cause I'm gonna, I'm start adding a lot of, of mushrooms. As you, as you can see, our numbers are up. Our numbers are up. Our numbers are up. Um, you know, of course, we spending a lot of dough, though. You know that, you know, trying to get y'all wear the two black line. As you can see, I got the Marcus Garvey shirt on, right? We still working on it, but we got it. It's ready. Um, we was out of the internet. You can see my first dad, Kumba Toast, waiting for the internet. Look at me, frustrated. Hold on, let's. See, let's play that. Oh, I'm waiting for the internet. I'm waiting for the internet. Show's coming. Wait for the internet. The internet is just holding us up. So, um, Daily Toast Ritual, we did that. Um, we're going to re-up this week. Um, I thought I had some news, but I guess I ain't have no news. Okay, all right. I ain't had no news. Um, guess I ain't had no news today. So, that's all good. We ain't had no news today. So, um, that means we go straight and get straight on to what we supposed to get on to right now. Everybody, you know, we got Miss Sasha Moss. Give Sasha Moss a round of applause. There she go. Give it up, Miss Sasha Moss. Good job. Welcome, Miss Moss. All right. Um, we are going to move to... Wait. Wait for what? Make sure y'all go get y'all merch. Your daily toaster again. merch. Your daily toaster merch. We got the daily. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First, got your two black merch. Tell them two black merch. Hold on. Got your two black merch. Two black? Two strong. Got that two black merch. This is Demarcus Garvey. Um, we got some. Um, we got some other stuff. It'd be better to come over here, Sasha. Um, we got some other stuff. Uh, we got other people on it. We got. Uh, I think. I think we got a Frederick Duck. No, we got. Um. Harriet Tubman, we got Harriet, uh, we got Bethune Cook, we got Bethune, uh, I can't remember her whole name, but I got it because uh, my my grandmother come from that, that, that area. And go to Amazon and get your Nagusa Saba Challenge journals. Uh-oh, 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 she learning quick, going around that, go around that way and come over here. All right, and so, um, and, you know, so we got that, you know, we got the two black. We got the Marcus Garvey. Go and get your Marcus Garvey. Um, Go get your merch from... Then you also got your what? Your merch. Got your daily toaster. Merch sure. and Right, you know. I, I'm wearing mine daily. On a daily basis. Because that's playing. why it's called daily toaster. Oh, is that why it's called daily toaster? I didn't know that's why it's called daily toaster, Sash. All right. Sash, you know, Sash say that's why it's called daily toaster. I oh, wear the merch called. on a daily basis. Got the Marcus Garvey. Girl, don't be slapping Marcus Garvey in the face. Don't be disrespectful. 
Um, anyway, you know, you want me to move so you can at least sit, sit back? Yeah. You can sit back on them. Marcus Garvey, Marcus Garvey loved the kids. He loved the children. Go on, sit back, baby. Um, anyway, y'all see how good that picture look? Now, um, now, wait for, uh, I'm just gonna say, I'm just saying, but anyway, now, so, what we about to do, we about to get into anime, baby, if you could, baby, baby anime, could you do it, please? Folk tale, folk tale time, folk tale time. We got the folk tale. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. You lost the page, huh? All right, go ahead. Come on. Can I the on? monkey and the dolphin, a sailor bound on a long voyage, took with him a monkey, a amuse amuse him while on shipboard. As he sailed off the coast of Greece, a violent tempest, tempest. tempest arose in which the ship was wrecked. Wrecked? Yes. Wrecked he and he and he, his monkey, and all the crew were obliged. Obliged. Obliged to swim for the for their lives. A dolphin saw the monkey con conceded con contending con 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 contending with the waves and supposing him to be a man whom he is always said to be friend <coughs> came and placed himself under him to him on his back in safety to the store when the when the dolphin arrived with his burden in sight of land not far from Athens Athens he asked the monkey if he were a Athen At Athenian Athenian the lady replied that he was, and that he was disconnected from descended from descended from one of the most notable fam families in that city. The dolphin then inquired inquired if he knew the fresh. The Piraeus. The Piraeus, the famous harbor of Athens, Athens. Supposing that a man was meant, the monkey answered that he knew him very well and that he was an inmate, no, intimate, intimate friend, the dolphin. In, indignant. In, indignant at these f falsehoods, dipped the, dipped the monkey under the water and drowned him. All right, cool. So the name of the folktale for the day is the monkey and the dolphin, the monkey and the dolphin. I'm going to read it one more time. Folk so tale. we get it. Folk tale. The monkey and the dolphin, the monkey and the dolphin. Here we go. A sailor bound on a long voyage took with him a monkey to amuse him while on shipboard. As he sailed off the coast of Greece, a violent tempest arose in which the ship was wrecked and he, his monkey, and all the crew were obliged to swim for their lives. A dolphin saw the monkey contending with the waves as opposing him to be a man whom he is always said to befriend, came and placed himself under him to convey him on his back in safety to the shore. When the dolphin arrived with his burden in sight of land not far from Athens, he asked the monkey if he were an, uh, an Athenian. The latter replied that he was, and that he was descended from one of the most noble families in the city. The dolphin then inquired if he knew the Piraeus, the famous harbor of Athens, supposing that a man was supposing a man was meant, the monkey answered that he knew him very well and that he was an intimate friend. The dolphin, indignant of this these falsehoods, dipped the monkey under the water and drowned him. Now, family, please get the message. Folk Hold on, Sarge. What happened? What's up?
What's going on? Uh uh, you can't you can't keep on walking in and out because you you mess with my lights. Alright, so alright, so now for those remember proverb of the day was when when great men come, they don't come alone. The uh, uh folk teller today was the monkey and the dolphin, and we are about to get into our rant. We're about to get into our rant. Let's get to the rant. Anime, can you get everything ready for me, baby, please? Anime, can you get everything ready for me, please? Telegram, I'll check y'all out later. Peace. Say a peace to Telegram, y'all. Peace. All right, so let's get ready for the rant. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Anime, got you, got everything. Can I get the one horn, baby, please? Can I get my theme music? Damn right, I'm thinking all I'm thinking all the time. So the rant for the day. It's very simple. I'm giving you five steps. Five simple steps. But of course you know we gotta do it in Giami fashion because I got questions for you too. Because I not only want to give you five steps to keeping keeping it real and firing up your kaumba, I also want you to do some. I want to give you these writing prompts so that you can get in your journal and get busy and start really looking at the power of Kumba. Now, five steps to Kumba. Let's let's move to it. Hold on. I did it backwards there. I wrote the blog first today. The problem with a lot of people is that we aren't being creative enough. A lot of us are not being creative enough. We're not sparking the Kumba. We are not firing up the Kumba and allowing Kumba to do what it does in our lives. And in many ways, we are giving up ourselves and giving up our lives and allowing ourselves to come into servitude for others. We allow other people to use our creativity and we are not sparking our creativity. The thing, you keep moving and not and, and, and unplugging stuff, girl. Stay still. Good grief. All right. And so, you can't stop moving? Ooh, that, that baby doll is spooky. Don't let her look at me. All right. Um, where's I at? Creativity. Right? Now, and a lot of us, now what sparked this was, because the, the original title was, hold on, I got it right here. I was going to stop being created and become a creator. Many of us are not really using our kaumba. We're allowing other people to use our kaumba. And then we are allowing these people that we are creating a better life for, that we are creating things for, that we are entertaining, that we are educating, that we are building for, using our Kaumba, we are allowing them to design a life that is not even good for us. So the challenge for us is how do I use my Kaumba, not only to improve the world, but how do I use my Kaumba to improve my life? Many of us are scared to use our Kaumba because we feel that once we start using our Kaumba, we might become targeted. Some of us are scared to use our Kumba because we're scared if we start using our Kumba, we won't be able to create anything that anybody else will want that will create value so that we will be able to live so we can feed our families. Many of us are scared to use our Kumba because we don't want to be the stand down. We don't want other people to look at us in a different way. We want to be like everybody else and fit into the crowd. We want to fit into the herd. Family, the challenge for you, the idea for you, the power for you is realizing that you have no you have no choice but to use your kaum if you want to live a good life. Now hold on, let's go on through this. We are just following what we think is the right path to success and happiness. We graduate high school, we go to college, get a good job marry our high school sweethearts and have two kids and live happily ever after. We follow this path. Then maybe we'll be happy sometimes. But there are many people who are not happy most of their lives even with following this path. Now, because the path that has been laid out for his family can no longer, <laughs> and I don't even know if it, if it ever did, but the path that has been laid out for us and the path that we've been told if we follow cannot produce the type of life that you want to live. No longer, right? When I was younger, I could remember teachers. Teachers living, having good lives. 
You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, I'm seeing teachers working part-time gigs. The shit is crazy, right? You know what I'm saying? I, I'm actually seeing life deteriorating. And the only ones that are really living their life to the fullest are people who are really plugging into their creativity and really being able to get out and market themselves and, and, and get paid to do what they love to do. That's what I'm trying to groom my, my the young ladies you see with me right here. This is what I'm trying to get people in geometry to move towards. This is why I'm trying to get some of y'all to start moving towards. I believe that a large part of the reason why we don't follow our own unique path is because we are afraid of being different or afraid of rejection. And we already said that. We covered that. A lot of us try to find our meaning in life by searching for a job, but some jobs just aren't meant for us. Shit, and some of us are not meant for jobs. Some of us are meant to start business. Some of us, some of us are meant to be craftsmen and women, where we find basic things that we are able to do real well and become craftsmen and women at it and be able to service a community, be able to service a group. But this requires us to really get together and start doing some tribe building, family. You understand what I'm saying? See, many of us are stuck because we feel that we are by ourselves. But we're going to get to that in a minute. We're going to get to that in a minute. The creative process is the way that we create things that are original and fresh. This could be a painting, a picture, writing, song, or creating new inventions. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. The creative process. The creative process has been with us since the beginning of time. It's how we imagine, dream, and create things that we may not have seen before. People talk about having a creative mind. What does this mean? It means that you have the ability to use your mind in ways that others can't. In order to make something new appear where there was nothing before. It means you have the ability to imagine what is possible and bring it into existence. Now, what I want to get to is... Here are some of the questions to wrestle with to help you find the creative process, to help you find your creative. Because everybody's creative process is not the same, right? You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, uh, many, how can I put it? Sometimes we want people to be able to answer questions for us that we have to be willing to wrestle with ourselves. Now, when I'm in my, when I'm in my coaching, coaching, coaching sessions, I strive. I strive to answer what I can, but when it gets to a point to where an individual is looking for an answer that's going to further define them, I'm leaving that question open and I'm throwing the question back at them because it's not about my development. It's not about what I went through. It's about what you're going through and what you need to become who you are. And it's the same thing with your creative process. I don't want to I don't want to have you copy my creative process because you might be able to copy my creative process and do some amazing things but if you would have fell into your own or took the time to create your own creative pro process would have went ahead and shoulders above where I am or and what I could do right so my coach says, what I'm trying to do is leave it open so that you can really discover you. Because it's really about self-mastery. It's not about Hot Tim mastery or becoming Brother Hot Tim. It's about moving three steps beyond Brother Hot Tim. It's about being the one person that nobody else can be better than you. And that's you. Right? Now, here we go. Here go some questions. What do you think about cre creativity? What, what are some of your thoughts about creativity? What does it mean to you? What does it look like to you? Where have you experienced creativity in your life? Right? Get your pen out. It's time for you to go and get your journal and start, you know, start journaling in it. Right? Come on. I mean, hell, get some paper. Think about these. What are the thoughts? What are your thoughts on how your creative process works? What are your thoughts on how your creative process works? What are you going to do today that is creative? Come on now. Every day we got to do a little something creative. Come on now. What steps have you taken to become the creator of your life? Have you taken any steps? Have you taken any steps in your life, right, to become the creator of your life? Or are you just satisfied being guided by other people? Are you satisfied li living other people's dreams? 
What is something creative you have to learn to do? What is something creative you have to learn to do? You know what I'm saying? It, are you are you engaged in any creative habits? I mean hobbies? You know what I'm saying? Is it something creative? You know, because some of y'all might want to learn how to draw. You never took the time to, to, to explore that or um or learn how to write poetry. You know what I'm saying? What step um what it where am I at? What are you going? Okay, boom, we did that. What have you learned? What is something creative you have to learn to do? All right, you can read that one right there. How does your culture in interference with your creativity? How does your culture influence your creativity? How does your culture influence your creativity? What are you willing to risk to change in your life? What are you willing to risk to change your life? Now, let's look at the five because I, get, I told you I was going to give you five. Five steps, five steps to keep to keeping it real and firing up your cumulus. So I'm gonna keep my word, and here we go. Number one, change your environment. If you have a problem with your creativity, maybe you ain't hanging around with enough creative people. Maybe you have not really found your tribe. Because I'm telling you right now, when you find your tribe and you start having those people start doing the roles that they need to do, especially one of the key pieces that I'm finding out in my tribe building right now. Is the accountability person, right? The account of, is the is, is the teens and having people who hold the other people accountable. So when you say you're gonna do something, you do it. Now this is the issue: when you change your environment and you start going around creative people, guess what starts to happen to you? You start becoming creative. You start becoming more creative, right? You, when you hang around broke people, you become broke. My daughter, y'all hear that? You hang around broke people, you broke. You right? You hang around with thieves, you're gonna be a thief. You hang around with hustlers, you're gonna be a hustler. You hang around with creative people, you become more creative. So those of you that want to be more creative, hang you need you got to hang around creative people. Listen to music, right? Music is a very creative thing. You can listen to some music when you're trying to create. It helps move you and help put you in a mood so that you can create. And also, it can give you some good ideas. Because, you know, I mean, because it's depending on music, depending on the lyrics, depending on the rhythm. I mean, like one of one of the people that I like to do some stuff to is Fela. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, John Coltrane. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you you find your music, you find your mute, your muse in your music. All right. Also, and, and then change your environment. When you change your environment, oftentimes you can find your muse. Right? In the environment you in right now, your muse is not there. You might need to find your muse. Now, let me say this about your muse. Some of y'all are different. Some of y'all, your muse is gonna make you feel good and you get creative. Sometimes your muse might make you feel like shit. I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I had all types of muses, and some of them is nice, and some of them ain't. I'm just letting y'all know. All right. Now, here's, here's one. Doodle, journal, or free write, and or free write. Doodle, journal, and or free write. You know, doodling is like, for example, um, you got not, no, not doodle, doodle. You draw. You know what I'm saying? You draw. You just you oh, just allow your mind to go and you just just draw. Journal. Like in Guz Saba, we journal, right? And then also taking some time to use some of the space to do some free writing. Free write. Family? You understand what I'm saying? To allow your mind to, to, to let your mind go, right? Let your mind go. Alright? Um so and then also uh, doing, um, like, for example, getting in the mirror and doing, allowing the creativity to flow. Sing even if you can't sing. In the, you know, you can do it privately in the shower or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But allow the creativity to go. Come up with rhymes every now and then. Say something clever. Practice. You know what I'm saying? You got to practice. You got to use the creativity. You can't just let it sit there and be stale. Right? Meditate, sit down, be still, and allow and, and teach your and teach your mind. Excuse me. 
Teach your mind, train your mind so that you can go on and shut down some of the thoughts that's going on behind or below everything else so that you can clear it so that you can have the space to do some creative creating in your own mind. Some of y'all can't create because your mind is too crowded with other bullshit. So y'all need to sweep some of that out. Last but not least, create habits that force you to plug into your Kaumba. Example. I get up, I got to get up every day and do a show. I don't know what the show going to be about every day. I really don't. All right, you know what I'm saying? So you have to put yourself in situations where you create habits that force you to plug into your Kumba. Every day I have to find, figure out, I have to, I have to figure out what I'm going to do on the show. Every day I have to figure this out. I'm plugging into my Kumba as often as I can. I do the same thing with some of the classes for the young people. I do the same thing for some of the celebrations I'm doing. I put myself in situations where I have to force, where I'm forced to have to be creative. All right? So, family, anime, baby, if you could, could you sound the war horn for me, please? Thank you, thank you. And could you play my theme music, please? Thinking all the time. And as we say in Giami Journey, <laughs> class is missed. I get the hell up out of my classroom. All right. All right, fam, I'm going to give you a couple minutes. Get your life together. Get your life together. And we will be right back. Go and say that pledge real quick. Minute by minute. Minute by minute. Call on the ancestors and the creator to watch over us as we do this African pledge. I pledge allegiance to my people. I pledge allegiance to my people. The African race. The African race. The original man and woman on the planet Earth. The original man and woman on the planet Earth. And the founders of civilization. And the founders of civilization. I pledge to continue to struggle. I pledge to continue to struggle. Which will help to bring my beloved brothers and sisters. Which will help to bring my beloved brothers and sisters. To total freedom. To total freedom. I pledge to study and discipline myself. I pledge to study and discipline myself. Spiritually, mentally, and physically. Spiritually, mentally, and physically. So I may grow into a soldier for justice. So I may grow into a soldier for justice. Because my people need strong and intelligent warriors. Because my people need strong and intelligent warriors. I pledge to live my life standing tall. I pledge to live my life standing tall. You For a person on his knees is not respected. For a person on his knees is not respected. If I am challenged, if I am challenged, I must say I will not surrender. I must say I will not surrender. My position or my dignity. My position or my dignity. But instead I will endure. 
Yeah. You are you gonna get the glass or not? Until the final victory is won. Until the final victory is won. Hotel. Hotel. We are back. We are back. Almost, I was almost right on time, family. But hey, all right. So um, we are about to do our toast. I'm gonna pour myself a little bit of this ambrosia. Here we go. Let's get it. There you go. What? That's enough. Yeah, y'all need some ambrosia. Sasha's on her way down. She went to go get her glass. Take it, take, be, be, be careful, please. It smells strong. Well, it's not that strong. It's Cleve used too much honey. Let's just say that. Okay. Cleve liked to make it sweet. But anyway, but this mixed with some of the old and, the, you know, some of the old and some of the new. So first off, family, we're going to lift up our glass. My fault. First off, those of you that are interested in getting your ancestors on the list, um, all you got to do is go to gnj.media. Or giamijourney.com and um, sign up for our email list. And then once you get on our email list, you can correspond with us, all right? Um, so, first off, we're going to lift up our glass. We're going to salute the creator by whatever name you choose to call it, creator. We lift up our glass. And we salute that creator and we say the word of power around these parts. We say, Ashe. Ashe. Thank you, Anime. May we lift up our glass. We salute our personal ancestors, which we do every morning at 5.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We lift up our glass and we say, Ashe. Thank you. <coughs> now, we're going to move straight to Toasting This Moment, which is why we're here. We're Toasting This Moment. We are in the moment of Kaumba family. And as I ask you every day, I ask you to open up your reticular formation and seek out Kaumba. I want you to talk about Kaumba. I want you to share Kaumba. I want you to to really really open up and start learning to use Kumba and use the five keys that I gave you today you know use those five steps that you could use to go and get intimate with Kumba all right now <clears throat> so to keep it to keep going let's uh so let's <clears throat> we are going to Remember that Kaumba, for those that don't speak the language, means creativity. Also, we want to stress the fact that on this day, we also have the modic principle of order. We have the color orange, as you can see, right here with my shirt. And you can go and support Giami Journey by going to merch. Go to merch.gnj.media. We got cause and effect. Cause and effect, which is the heretic principle. Excuse me. Cause and effect, which is the hermetic principle. We got male, name for the day is Kwame, female name is Ama. We lift up our glass. We salute this moment. We salute the power in this moment. We take control of it to make sure we do what we need to do. And we say, Ashe. Ashe. Now, move on. Thank you, anime. Move on. We lift up our glass. We lift up our glass. And we're going to salute our, salute our children, our, our children's children, 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 on to infinity, and we say, Ashe. All right, anime, thank you. We lift up our glass, and we're going to toast from here. We're going to toast all of those individuals that might be in need of that balanced healing energy. We're going to lift up our glass, and we're going to salute those, those members of our tribe and our family. I'm calling on... Brother Quasi sending him energy. We're going to send energy to Elder Tony West. We're going to send energy to Elder Debbie Bowie. And, like I said, um, and, and their caretakers. We lift up the glass and we say, I say. I say, I Now, finally, we lift up our glass. We started, we, we, uh, we started with the creator. We ended with the creator. We say, I say. I say. I say. I say. Family, I wish you peace, power, you joy, and 100 years. years. And with that, we say, I say. And as we say in Giamme, Ka'in. You don't need that no more. And as we say in Giamme, Ka'in. And of course, too black, too, too strong, 
Oh, y'all know it. Okay, we lift up our glass. We are out, family. We are out. We are out. Anime, could you take us out? I say anime this time because I don't want. I just want. I want our regular out no, music. This isn't strong. <laughs> I like it. Mr. Diddy. Did you make that? What's that? Did you make the Daily Toast song in here, right in here, right over here? She went with us when we went down to the